Like his father, Donald Trump Jr. seems to be an expert at getting under people's skin. Don Jr. has taken his dad's place as the Trump family social media troll, creating controversy and feeding feuds online. So it's no surprise that Don Jr. has plenty to say about Alec Baldwin's accidental shooting on the set of Rust. Baldwin has been an outspoken critic of the 45th president and savagely imitated Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live for years. The oldest son of the former president is the most conservative Trump child and the closest to his dad in temperament. His ability to channel his father's energy has made him a valuable asset to the former president, with CNN reporting that Don Jr. was his father's top advisor. The Guardian reported that Donald's oldest child is, seen by many as the heir apparent to the Make America Great Again MAGA movement. But Trump critic and founder of anti-Trump PAC, The Lincoln Project, Rick Wilson describes Don Jr. less charitably. Wilson claimed that the former president's son has risen in rank because he speaks the fluent whole dialogue of the Own the Libs Trump Party. Yikes! So, what exactly did Don Jr. have to say about Alec Baldwin's tragic shooting? Donald Trump Jr. trolled actor Alec Baldwin a day after the movie set tragedy that resulted in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. On October 22nd, the 43-year-old son of Donald Trump posted a photo of Baldwin on Instagram with the caption, "...that look when an anti-gun nut kills more people than your extensive firearm collection ever has." Don Jr. is an avid hunter who considered running for an NRA leadership position in 2020. Don Jr.'s ridicule of Baldwin on social media continued over the weekend. On October 23rd, the former president's son shared a meme of the actor and his wife Hilaria on Instagram, which read, "'How do we say in English, we're f***ed?' In the caption, Don Jr. added several questions, including, "'Why do those who hate guns so much have no problem profiting from them?' Why are those who hate guns and profit from them not learning basic gun safety so as to be able to double-check these things themselves? The posts didn't end there. Don Jr. also shared a Homer Simpson meme to Instagram that read, "'Let's all watch Alec Baldwin blame the gun,' along with the caption, "'It's only a matter of time.'" Much like his father's 2020 election results, Donald Trump Jr.'s mean-spirited memes aren't faring so well. Many took the self-professed general in the meme wars to task for the insensitive social media posts. Musician John Lurie let his thoughts be known about the online trolling loud and proud as he recalled a similar incident. He expressed in a tweet, "'I knew Michael Massey, the actor who accidentally shot and killed Brandon Lee. It absolutely destroyed him. He never recovered. I am astounded by the cruelty of some of these posts on Alec Baldwin. The stupidity of this crowd, however, is no longer a surprise." Conservative political commentator Steven Crowder also shared his thoughts on what appears to be a lack of understanding and compassion during such a tragedy. He tweeted, "...one can have empathy for both the family of Helena Hutchins and Alec Baldwin in this heart-wrenching tragedy, even if you disagree with him." My heart just breaks. I can't even imagine." Unfortunately, all of the public criticism surrounding the insensitive online trolling fell on deaf ears as Donald Trump Jr. took it one step further when he unleashed yet another antagonistic meme on his Instagram account. In one fell swoop, the former president's son managed to troll three separate people, including director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and chief medical advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci, President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden, and actor Alec Baldwin, with a side-by-side -side photo of all three men with the words, Know the difference. Big Pharma. Big Parma. Big Karma with a caption that read, "...the more you know, this PSA has been brought to you by facts and logic." Something tells us this is only the beginning of Don Jr.'s senseless quest to publicly berate Baldwin for the tragic accident. Our deepest condolences go out to the family of Helena Hutchins.